Hi everyone, this is Dmitry from MyRx.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to create this DNA spiral in After Effects using Recogrid plugin. Let's create a new composition, full HD size, click OK. Inside new comp create a new layer. With layer selected right mouse button, Effects, iRealix, Recogrid. And first of all we create a camera. All values are default. Let's rename our layer to keep it organized. In Recogrid turn on 3D mode, its first line parameter. This mode works only if camera is exist inside composition. We can move our camera to be sure 3D mode is active. So let's start setting up. Horizontal count 200. Vertical count set 1 for now. Scroll down. We need to edit script. Left click on this area. We will code gradually, step by step. First we need to declare a new function. Get pause add. These two parameters T and up down. Inside declare variables res x equals 1000 times t. A next variable res y equals 200 times mass dot sign open round brackets mass dot p times t plus up down times mass dot p close round brackets let's copy and paste this line just rename variable to res z function will return 3d point res x res y and res z and type end to close the function i will just add some space to format our code Next we need a variable to set density of our spiral. Now using our function we will set coordinates to points. All elements has x, y and z coordinates. Ok, x, y, z equals get pause add. As a first argument we will use y. Y is goes horizontally and J is vertical. Actually, Y and J is element indexes. Y divided by dots per cycle, comma, J. Click OK. I will move center position to the left. We can hear spiral. I can turn it like that. Oh, looks like it's not a spiral yet. Let's go back to script. Yes, here is a problem. It should be cosine instead of sine. And then we will have a spiral. Let's add a second spiral. We just need to increase vertical count from 1 to 2. Now we have couple spirals. We can turn it like that to see. We have the opportunity to make sure all the points look at us. Billboard need to be turned on. Now all the elements is looks on camera. I will decrease point size a little bit in instance radius. I will return previous position for now. Ok, next we need to add lines here to connect our spirals. Let's go back to script. We need to add a condition to separate by j. We have j from 0 to vertical count minus 1 and i from 0 to horizontal count minus 1. For points with j below 2 the code will be this. For others the code will be another. We need a new variable contains lines density. 
and variable defines lines count per spiral cycle. And variable help us to build lines. Next, we need to declare a, a two 3D points. First will be from values for these points will be calculated with our function. Last value zero means that point is on first spiral. And second will be 2. Second point, same function. 1 means point in on second spiral. Now between these two points we'll build lines. We need a variable for a lerp function. Using points density, we calculate LERP t in range of 0 to 1. And final part, for each coordinate we use LERP function, it is distribute points along a line. Let's copy this line and paste it two times. After copy we need to change variables and check it twice to prevent typos. We can see nothing changes because we have only two rows. Change it to three. Now our lines is drawn. We can add a future to rotate a spiral inside the script. In parameters we have sliders. We will use slider 1. It will rotate the spiral. Let's go to script. Here inside we will add plus get slider 1 divided by 10. Just copy it to cosine. OK. Looks good. Next step I want to add some noise. In our script, here we will add noise. Here is described function get noise. Here is noise in our parameters. Noise 1. Let's set amplitude right now. 50 for example. Type here plus get noise. First parameter is noise index. We have noise 1. Next parameters can be x part and y part. They have range from 0 to 1. Let's copy this noise to other coordinates. Now increase noise frequency. Decrease the amplitude a little bit. And animate noise with evolution. First k at the beginning and second at the end. From 0 to say uh, 20. It's moving. I will increase it to 100. Now it's ok. Instead of rectangles we can use any texture from a layer. We already have a comp. Its size is uh, 100 by 100. It's just circle with gradient with no animation, but it can be animated. I will put this comp inside our composition. Turn it off.
In our parameters we have layers. We need to set it here. Layer 1, choose a new comp. Go to shape. Complex polygon change to textured quad. Select in shape texture layer index layer 1. And here timelines frames. Now our elements is texture from custom layer. Here I want to add more particles. We need to set here 16 instead of 3. In our script in this line change to 8. So now we have more points. I want to split noises. Here I will change from 1 to 2. And here is noise 2. Set the amplitude and scale. Now it looks better. We also can animate the second noise. Let's add some randomness to point size. In instance radius, value I change to 0, noise multiplier to 4, noise offset to 100 to move noise to positive range. Also animate noise with evolution. At the beginning K set to 0, at the end say to 50. Our particles is animated now. Now it's look flat. I want to add some depth to make the far point slightly darker than the near ones. We have gradient in parameters. We will use gradient 1 and set left color to white and right to black. Now go to script. At the end of script. Grad equals here is declared get gradient. Since we are using first gradient, we specify index 1 here. Second parameter is part of gradient to take from 0 to 1. We calculated knowing the diameter of the spiral. And add another variable to control degree of blending of the gradient. Get slider. We will use slider 2 and divide it by 100. Add our colors by channels. It will be linear interpolation between original color and color multiplied by gradient. Same for other color channels. Let's see what we get. The far point is completely black. We need to slightly decrease gradient blending. We have slider 2 for this. Now it's better. Now to animate appearance we need to add some more code. We will use slider 3. Let's write here a condition to toggle points visibility. If I less slider 3 Then visible equals true, else visible equals false. We will animate slider by time. While slider value rises, we will set more points to be visible. 
Animate from 0 to 200. It is our horizontal count. Let's add some rotation. And slightly increase noise amplitude. Move the spiral to the left bottom corner and rotate it like that. Animate our camera like that. I'm hit F9 to smooth this keyframe. Now we have DNA spiral appearing in 3D space. Let's add some randomness to points brightness. In instance color, brightness, noise, increase the amplitude, decrease common value. Increase scale and move the evolution. Yes, we have some brightness fluctuation. Let's animate evolution. Let's see. Also, we can colorize our particles with hue, hue noise. We can turn off brightness noise, slightly reduce gradient on slider 2. I will provide the script in the description so you can use it in your own projects. Also I will include a link to project, you can download it for free. This is all, thank you.